What is going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to the JW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome. Today we will be going over the Indianapolis Colts defensive line in the edge room. So the interior defensive line we all know is very good, very strong, one of the best in the National Football League. But when you talk about the edge room, it's kind of like the opposite. Like there's, like there's all these question marks, these questions like, yeah, they can be great. Yeah, they can be good. But the matter of fact is... We could say they're going to be good all we want, but there's too many question marks. There's too many things that kind of they got to go over. They got to worry about with this room. You know, could they stay healthy? Could they find consistency? That's what we're going through today. So if you do enjoy these kind of videos, Colts videos, NFL news, um, predictions, power rankings, there's a bunch of stuff coming up for the NFL season. Make sure you stick around, like, subscribe, put that post notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. So um, let's not waste too much more of your time. Let's get into the video topic. Let's start with the strength of this defensive line. We're starting with the defensive interior. Interior. You have DeForest Buckner and Grover Stewart starting in the interior defensive line, and that is pretty damn good. And you know, you've noticed last year when both of those, when either or of those guys were out for a snap or two, you really noticed a difference in the Colts defensive line, whether it's stopping the run or even going after the pass or going after the quarterback. Either way, you know, when you lost one of these guys for a play or two, it struggled. It was bad it was pretty horrible but now you have some depth as well and you may have a guy that can become a household name in the NFL in years to come and we will get into him so let's look at who we have behind DeForest Buckner and Grover Stewart first of all I want to talk about Adi Tamua Adebore so Adi Tamua from Northwestern defensive tackle he is insane he te he his he tested off the charts for what he is a defensive it, an interior defense alignment. Um, he's kind of a tweener. He can play edge rusher as well, but it seems like the interior would be his calling card, would be his main, will be his cup of tea. Uh, so, Adetamiwa, he's going to be the guy in the first year. The Colts are going to send out their 20, 22 snaps and say, hey, go make us some big plays. Go make us some electric plays. Go go wreck the game. And that he will do. He, I could see him doing it. Now, he does need some refining. He does have some work to do, but for the Colts guy here, and in the fourth one, I believe I got him third or fourth. Either way, he has a chance to become a household name in the NFL. And I think he will eventually replace the Forrest Buckner, possibly be better because I think out of time, you, uh, he's so athletically gifted yet. He has this insane upside. He's a bit undersized, but you, you see some defensive interior guys come in and figure out a way to get it done. You know, even if they're smaller, you, you know, we saw Dwight Freeney or Robert Mathis. I think it was Dwight Freeney coming in. He was considered smaller, but he kind of evolutionized the game with the spin move. Now, that's edge. This is interior. But, you know, you look at Aaron Donald. He evolutionized the game, revolutionized the game at defensive tackle. So, maybe at a time, one could have a similar impact. That's that's really high praise. It's really big names to put him up with. So, I'm not going to compare him to them. I'm just going to say that, you know, sometimes when players are smaller, they find a different way to do things. And sometimes it's for the best. Sometimes it's for, you know, they'll become one of the best ever do it. But more often than not, they will struggle. Um, but we will see. I think Adetamiwa can replace a force Buckner. Buckner's not getting any younger. And Adetamiwa, given a few years, you know, by the time the Forest Buckner is probably leaving, Adetamiwa can fill in. And he may be just as electric or even more electric than the Forest Buckner. And he also play the edge as well. Buckner can play the edge as well too, but uh, Adi Taimu is really that tweener. So uh, Adi Taimu, then um, really a guy that not a lot of people bring up. They, you know, they forget to mention him or he just doesn't pop up in their brain when they talk about the Colts defensive line. It's Taven Bryant. Taven Bryant is going to come in and he's going to wreck the game a little bit, not in terms of pass rushing, not in terms of an elite level, but he's going to be a stolen wall. It's going to be hard to move him. He is a very good defensive tackle. And, Having Adi Tamiwa and Tavon Bryan backing up Buckner and Grover is going to be so important because we saw last year when, when one or two of those guys, you know, when just one of them were out of the game for a couple snaps, this defense line struggled. It was pretty bad. You know, it was pretty bad against the run. Just, every, you know, all around it was pretty bad, this interior. So, I really think that Tavon Bryan is going to make a bigger impact than people think. Watch out for Tavon Bryan. He's a very underrated player. It's a sneaky pickup. All right, now we talk about the interior defensive line. Now we're going to go to the edge rushers. So we're starting with Quiddy Pay Deo. We're starting with the starters who are listed as the starters on the ESPN depth chart. So Quiddy Pay, right? He is on, I would say he's almost elite in the run, in the run, Um, what do you call it? Stopping the run category. 
block shedding, you know, all that, his instincts, he's great at stopping the run. Now, the passing game, he's been a little limited, but he has improved every single year. Now, he has had some injury issues, which I hope he can get figured out because if he get those figured out, I think he could be a good edge rusher for us. Is he going to be a top 10, a top 5? I don't know, and I don't think so, but I think he could be a good enough edge rusher to maybe take the pressure off the other side. And t speaking of the other side, Dale Dangbo, he has been a very good run stopper as well. Now, he has not been great in the passing game. He's not really elite. He's not really good or great or above average. He's maybe okay. I think he can still improve in that area. But remember, he's like as big as Buckner is. He's got the arm length, and he hasn't really had the chance to really done anything yet. I mean, I guess last year he... He, you know, he was healthy. You know, he played a little. I think he was elevated to the roster at the end of the year he was drafted, which, you know, he tore his Achilles the year prior, and they didn't know if he was going to be able to play. It was more so of a future pick. And a lot of people were saying that this kid could be a first round draft pick, but the offseason injury really hampered that, really said no, not uh. So now he really has his chance. He's listed as a starter. He's fully healthy. He's had a another full season under his belt, maybe he can maybe take that next step, which would be nice. And that's the thing with this defensive line. They can be good, and I think they can be okay. It's just a matter of fact of if they can take that next step. They're going to need to take that next step if, th if you want this defense to be competent, especially in the passing game, because these cornerbacks are very inexperienced, and you're going to need pressure on the quarterback to help these guys out a little bit. And I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get that kind of pressure on the quarterback to help these very inexperienced young cornerbacks out. Um, you look at Tyquan Lewis. We reassigned him. I'm I'm happy about that. It's a matter of fact, if he gets to stay healthy as well. It's a lot of these guys just staying healthy is a big thing. Tyquan Lewis, when healthy, he's been pretty damn good. And it just sucks because it seems like every time he goes to take a step forward and he's starting to make some noise, he has a serious injury, like, you know, a torn Achilles. I don't know if he tore, his, tore an ACL, but I know he has another serious injury, like, beginning of his career compared to more recently. But um, if he's healthy, he is a very good rotational piece inside or outside. He's very versatile. So I think I think Taekwon is a great rotational piece. Uh, if he could stay healthy, maybe he could become a starter. Then you have Samson Abuka. He's from the San Francisco 49ers and. He's more of a pass rushing guy. He's kind of similar to Yannick Ngakwe in a few ways. Um, he's going to get pressure on the quarterback. He's not as good in the uh, stopping the run, you know, as a run stopper. But he is a but he can get pressure on the quarterback, and he will get pressure on the quarterback. Now with the Niners, he really had some guys on that defense line that can help take the pressure off him. And I think he's got something similar with the Colts. But you know, the interior, you know, in, you know, opponents, you know, opposing offense lines. Offensive lines really need to focus on that interior, make sure that Buckner and Grover Stewart do not wreck the game. So I think that's going to help. And hopefully, Quiddy Pay, Tyquan Lewis can really provide some pressure on the other side to really help open things up for Samson Abuka, uh, which I think is possible. I think they could, and I hope they would. But I guess we will see what happens. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this defensive line room. I think it's a good room. I think the interior defense line is, is probably the strength of our team. Um, the edge room, they have a lot of potential, but they could either crash and burn or they can skyrocket and really fulfill that potential that we are expecting to, that we know they can achieve. But I guess we will see what happens because we can't put too many eggs in the basket until we can't count too many eggs until we see really them hatched and really, you know, do something. So I want you guys to let me know what you think about this defensive line room. Is there anything that you agree with that I said that you disagree with? I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. This is JW Sports Talk Show. This is your host, Jason David Wood Jr., Jason D. Wood Jr., whatever you want to call me. And I am signing out. Off. Whatever you want to call it.